Flying away. Well, we're back out again with the Millennium Falcon XL from Air Hogs. Didn't have much success with it last night. It wasn't flying very well. So I got up early this morning because it's gonna be raining here uh, for the next couple days. And I wanted to get you some test footage of it, flying it outdoors and see if it flies any better today than it did yesterday. So let's do it. I'm gonna start off with it in the beginner mode here on the controller. So I have this flipped down. I'm gonna see how it does. The advanced mode will give me more pitch and uh, the ability to uh, fly faster and have harder turns and that. First, I wanna get it in this mode and just see how it flies in case there's a beginner getting out of the box wanting to fly it. But I'm already noticing this back motor looks kinda of skippy. I think it's kinda of jumping a little bit. All right, here we go. Up, oh, we're gonna let go. Hovering a little bit, drifting to the right, so we'll make an adjustment there on the controller. Oh, and crash. I'm pushing hard right and hard up, and it is not going anywhere. It's not going up or to the right. Now we're just going up and it won't come down. I'm pulling down. Let's go into advanced mode, see if we get a little more control. It does not fly like a normal drone, so pulling down should bring it down to the ground and into our nice car. Uh, there's like zero control over this thing. It has a mind of its own. For 300 bucks, this thing should fly like a dream. You could get a really awesome flying racing quadcopter for $300 with really big motors, lots of control. This is, uh, this is kind of going to make a lot of kids upset Christmas morning when they try and fly it. Will not take off. Making a lot of weird noises all over the place. Flying away. Pushing hard forward and that's as fast as it's going away. All the way forward. Okay, so my advice with the Millennium Falcon XL from Air Hogs, with just a little bit of time flying it is for 300 bucks, leave it on the shelf. It's not worth it unless you really want something to hang from your hobby room. But at that point, you should just get a really awesome detailed looking Millennium Falcon model or toy. It's gonna be a lot less money because this thing doesn't fly. It's the flying that it does is garbage, especially for the price point. The motors are underpowered. Uh, it's all over the place. The controls don't actually work like a regular drone, so I'm trying to pull it down to adjust height. It's not coming down. Uh, it won't turn off. It's just buggy and uh, not worth the money. It's a bummer to say that because I really want to like it. I can't like it because I can't fly it. The battery life after flying it for just five minutes is already really low on it, so um, that's a problem, especially because for a $300 drone, you cannot replace the battery. It's hidden away, tucked away. There's no replacing it. No having extra batteries to be able to keep flying. Um, so they're basically trying to get into a market that they shouldn't be with this if they're not gonna step it up and make it a little bit more hobby grade at that cost. Because for $300, you can get a really nice drone. You can build one of your own, like a racing FPV drone, um, and you'll be a lot further on your way for 300 bucks. This can hardly fly for 300 bucks. So, uh, mine is going to go back to the store because it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is fly. If it would even barely fly decently, I would keep it just to have around for kicks and, you know, make people laugh, do some videos with it. But this doesn't even allow me to control it. So it's back to the store, guys. That's my take on it. Have fun RCing, and we'll see you next time.